there are some options that come with find and replace okay already you know that the keyboard shortcut to find is Control f and if you were going to replace you can just go straight up to the replace tab but if you want to jump straight up to the replace tab you can use Control h instead so Control h is going to get you straight to you know the replace tab of the find and replace dialog box right now either of them either the find or the replace they both have options so if you click on the option button here then you will have more options right here okay some of those uh some of the important options that you have uh is to define the scope of where you want to find right so you can either find within the scope of a worksheet for example or you can find within a workbook right so right now uh earlier rather i replaced the ahmeds that we have on this work sheet right so if you check now you won't find any uh any any cell that contains ahmed but if you go to the other worksheets that we have you will see that you know the ahmed still remain on those worksheets so let's say i'm currently here on the salaries worksheet now that doesn't contain any of those values i can actually use Control f you know to find and i'm going to change the scope of where i'm finding to find within the workbook and let's say i use the find all this time around i'm going to see the list of all the places that contains ahmed and i can use uh you know uh the locations of those lists right here to navigate to navigate and to simply just take me to wherever you know i can find those values let's return back to the salaries worksheet Control F once again, and some of the other options that you have is, you know, to further, you know, define the scope of what you are looking for is to tick any of these boxes. So, for example, let me just return this one back to worksheet scope for now and close the dialog box. I'm going to change this second Hakim to a small letter H. Now, if I Control F and i decide to look for hakim with a capital letter h if i click on find next you see that it will basically toggle between all the uh, cell that contains hakim regardless of the case of the letter h but if i decide to tick the box for match case when i click on find next now you will see it's ignoring the hakim that has the small letter h okay now the other thing i can also do is let me untick the match case and teach tick a uh, match entire cell contents when you use the match entire cell contents what happens is it will only find uh, a cell that contains this thing exactly the way it is right now i'm not really matching case so but the content of that cell has to be hakim and hakim alone so if i click on find next now you see that it's still going to continue to ignore the other hakim that has hakim all right except i unselect this then i can find every single mention of hakim